So the chicken nuggets are officially gone over here at Popeyes and in their place we've got, wait for it, all new nuggets? Well, of course, that's definitely open to debate because these are being marketed as their all new boneless wings. So stay tuned because up next, I'm gonna be taking a look at the roasted garlic Parmesan version. As always, I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. Yeah, I think this is definitely gonna trigger some of you peeps out there because as far as I'm concerned, if you're gonna call something wings, it has to have a bone on the inside of it. Otherwise, it's just a glorified nugget. And that's kind of what I'm looking at here, guys. And as you can see, what I've got here is a nice amount of fried crispy golden brown goodness along with a very pungent garlic Parmesan sauce. Let me break this one on down for you fully before we get right into them. All right, so the all new classic boneless wings over here at Popeyes. And as you can see here, guys, again, a very lovely situation of that fried action right here. A very nice amount of the sauce as well. What you're looking at is supposed to be a six piece order of these quote unquote boneless wings. And in this case, it's gonna be doused in a caramelized garlic sauce along with Parmesan and Asiago cheeses. And I gotta say, guys, it's really standing out pretty beautiful. The boneless wings themselves are comprised of white meat chicken pieces that are hand battered in store and then fried to a crispy golden brown. So again, glorified nuggets as far as I'm concerned, but still, the sizeability is absolutely there. This is looking pretty nice. And as if we needed even more saucy goodness to get into, we've got a default side of buttermilk ranch to go in with these as well, guys. But I have to say, overall, there is a very solid amount of that roasted garlic Parmesan action here. And I gotta say, the pungentness is off the charts. So let's see if this one delivers. These are the all new roasted garlic Parmesan boneless quote unquote wings here at Popeyes. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, I gotta say I'm getting a real sense of deja vu with this one, guys, because not that long ago I checked out the classic bone and wings over here at Popeyes, the full selection of flavors, all the permanent ones. Chances are you're gonna see a few of them jumping up on the screen here right now. There's a whole range of goodness with this one, a lot of hot choices, some that have a little barbecue sauce action, some that have a little bit of honey, and then obviously we've got the roasted garlic action to go with. So there's a lot to choose from over here, and let's just say there's no shortage of options for you, and that's a good thing. But again, regardless of how you feel about calling these wings or nuggets, it's still fried chicken nonetheless, and that's not a bad thing at all. So let me lift up one of these here right now, and of course I've got the little spork, which never does a good job, and as you can see, it's already splitting it right over here. The white meat is definitely looking pretty nice from what I'm looking at. Let's give this a shot, guys. It's the roasted garlic Parmesan boneless wings here at Popeyes. Here we go. Mmm. Pungent Parmesan cheesy Asiago action. Wow, that's pretty strong. The saltiness, a lot of cheesy flavor with this. Mmm, wow. You know, the thing with this version compared to the previous one that I checked out with that roasted garlic Parmesan action is the wings themselves actually were based on the spicy one. So it had a little bit more of a kick to it. I'm still getting a little bit of the kick from the garlic here, but there's more cheesy action than anything else. So. I am really loving the fact that these are completely coated. A very lovely situation here. Let's keep going in, guys. And as you can see, very thick and hearty, but still kind of a nugget nonetheless. Let's keep going in. Mmm. That white meat action. The garlic parmesan. Given how hot it is outside here in Southern Cali right now, I wanted to do something a little bit more cheesy, nothing with spice. So I'm glad I'm quote unquote revisiting these, even though they don't have a bone. This really kind of feels like a couple of chicken tenders, kind of chopped up maybe a little bit here, and that's pretty much it. So it is what it is. Like I said, you got to have a bone if you're going to call these wings. Otherwise, these are glorified nugs. So write it down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of that whole debate. I always bring it up whenever I do these types of things. This really does feel like a nug situation. So let's do a little bit more, and then we'll get into some uh, buttermilk ranch action. But guys, it's tasty. I mean, it's fried chicken, it's Popeyes, and they're very thick, hearty pieces of white meat. Let's keep going in. Mmm, it's flavorful. And again, very cheesy, very tangy, very tart. It's got a lot going for it. And the thickness of it is a lovely thing indeed. Yeah, definitely some strong garlic in that one too. Wow, <clears throat> almost feels like a little bit of spice actually on that one. Pretty tasty, pretty tasty. All right, let's do a little buttermilk ranch action with this one here. I think the last time I did the roasted garlic, the classic wings, I did, I think it was black and ranch if I'm not mistaken. So this one I think should be pretty nice. Let me pick up one of these here. And you know what, this spork is not working for me here. So let me just pick up one using my hands. 
We'll do a little badunk a dunk when I dip you dip we dip. There we go, a little freak nasty for you. A little combination of some buttermilk ranch goodness along with the Asiago cheese, the roasted garlic, and of course with the, uh, the caramelized goodness as well too. Let's try it. Mmm. Yeah. Even more saucy goodness. That's really tasty. The ranch has the tang all on its own, but the Asiago and Parmesan are very strong. So, a lovely situation with this one, guys. Let's do just a couple more on it. And as you can see, again, it hugs the nooks and the crannies of the outer coating itself. And again, basic white meat chicken on this thing. There's really no spice outside of the actual garlic that I'm kind of getting. It's got a little bit of a bite to it at the same time, so I'm digging it. It's not bad. Hmm. Popeye's goodness, fried crispy golden brown. Very nice. So, the nuggets are technically not gone. They're just called something else and they're maybe cut just a little bit differently. So, it is what it is. It's tasty. Let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap this little quickie review with the rating coming up next. But, tasty goodness, like I said. And you've got a lot of other options to go in on with these quote unquote wings over here. The boneless, I should say. Boneless wings at Popeye's. Let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap it up. Hang on. Hmm. Well, call it whatever you want, Popeyes. It's still golden brown, crispy goodness. And I have to say, with this particular flavor, the sauce is definitely a banging situation. Very cheesy with a little bit of the bite from the garlic. And overall, it complements the coating on the outside. You got to love the hand-battered action over here at Popeyes. Definitely a lovely situation with this flavor. I'm glad I checked this one out today. You know, I gotta say, after all the times I've reviewed quote unquote boneless wings over here at Popeyes or any other chicken place for that matter, I still come back to the fact that I'm really more of a bone-in type of guy personally myself. So overall, this is not bad for what it is, even though they are glorified nuggets, it's still very tasty for the flavor that you're getting. And again, the outer coating is a banging situation. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the roasted garlic Parmesan boneless wings here at Popeyes just an okay eight out of 10. Guys, they're still pretty tasty for what they are. Like I said, it's Popeyes. How can you really hate on it? You have your choice of sauces definitely on the side. The default is buttermilk ranch. I think that goes pretty amazing with the garlic Parmesan. Very pungent on the cheeses and overall, just a very tasty, hearty little snack. I don't think that's gonna fill me up too much. It's only a six piece, but at the same time, $7 as well, just a little up there, maybe a dollar or so more than it needs to be. But then again, this is Southern California, so it is what it is price-wise. But guys, still pretty tasty on this one. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. What did you guys think of the quote-unquote boneless wings over here at Popeye's? Were they a pretty banging situation for you? And if you've had them already, what sauce did you get them with? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Eye Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.